Hello everyone, welcome to this series. In this, you are going to learn about completely what is a HTML, where you are going to use a particular HTML technology, how can you combine your HTML with other advanced technologies, all this stuff you are going to learn and you are going to see. Before that, I just want to share you some information that what is a website and what is a web page because website and web page both are interrelated one web page is nothing but a single page which is having some information from which one position to another position you can jump coming to website you are having multiple pages guys you are having multiple pages to build a website we are having two things front end and back end but this html technology comes under front end so we are going to see some information you are going to learn and you are going to understand how can you use a front end technology html like all this stuff i am ram teja front end developer at codenan i am the one going to guide you in this series of videos you may already have some work experience or you have seen the workflow and what the html can do all the stuff it's okay fine and your journey into coding begins here with the importance of html guys in this series of videos we are going to dive deeper into the core concepts of html what the html can do what the necessity of having html like all this stuff so first of all we are going to see the three important factors what we are having in a front end side front end front end is very powerful guys if you really having some data if you are having some information you have to display that information then only then only any other people or any other person can use and can believe that you are having some information you can you are capable of doing something you have to show them what can you do like the same thing in here also guys for a website means what are the data you may carry it is secondary but first of all you have to present that i can i have i have this particular features i have this type of functionalities to show all this stuff that is what we call as front end in front end we are having three things information presentation functionality what are these three things once again information presentation functionality information means nothing but there is some content you are going to have some information what type of content you have that is what simple information means some type of data guys how you are having what type of data you are carrying like that presentation in the sense the way the way what can you have the way how can you display the content like that all these things are going to come under presentation because presentation is going to play a crucial role guys finally functionality to control what type of data you are having how can you control and how can you update like all this stuff you can make and you can done with this functionality okay good then what are the technologies you are going to use in these three things for information presentation and functionality what are the technologies we are going to use and we are going to uh, learn in this series you are going to see here it is for information point of view to handle some information to display on the web page the content whatever you are having whatever you are carrying in your project if you want to display that for that you are going to use html technology the standard version of html is html5 that's why you are seeing html5 such type of symbol in here html5 is the thing helps you to display the information what are you are having and coming to presentation this is what we call as view by using css3 you can present the content in a next level guys into a next level you can present your content let me show you one small example after completing this ppt so that you can clearly understand what can the css going to take and how it is going to take your uh, html platform to css platform how it is going to make a dramatic change in your project you can clearly see also just wait for a few minutes finally for functionality to make a page a dynamic page we are going to use to control for the functionality purpose all that thing we are going to use javascript javascript is really excellent thing else by using javascript you can build a dynamic pages also so this means you are getting a small confusion that so what is a dynamic page and what is a static page you are having two pages you are going to learn and you are going to see about these differences in this next video don't worry so for making a dynamic page for creating on for controlling all the functionality whatever your web page is carrying 
we are going to use JS. Okay, good. So let's start with HTML. What's the meaning of HTML? HTML means nothing but hypertext markup language. This is the abbreviation we all see and we all going to hear from the initial stages onwards. From the starting stage onwards, we are going to hear this is the abbreviation. What does the meaning of hypertext markup language? By default, guys, in your web page or in your website, the content what are you are carrying is completely some text information. After the advanced levels, after each and day by day, after day by day, uh, this particular HTML increases to a next level. Then we come up with videos, images, audios, all these things. So before this audio tags, video tags, everything is completely happened by using text format only. In a text format, the way how can you present your content in a page that is what the meaning of hypertext. What does the meaning of markup language? Markup language means nothing but the way, the behavior of that particular text. If you are having a particular drop down type of functionality, if you are having a particular link from one page to another page, all that stuff is going to happen because of the controlling that functionality guys. In the hypertext markup language also, we are having the text information, we are going to give the connection from one page, web page to another web page, one website to another website, we can give the connection guys. It is simply a markup language which is going to happen based on the text and the connection is happened based on the hyper. Okay, good. This means HTML is very powerful and which is going to give the connection from one document to another document. Uh, let me show you one small example that what can you do after completing this series of videos? What can you do? And what you are going to learn? I will show you. Mm -hmm. This is a small website. Uh, in this you are having some information, some buttons, some links, everything is present in here, some drop downs, a lot of uh, information you are having. You may think this is a very small thing, very piece of code, but this is completely the content guys. This is simply some information, what you are carrying, the first layer, the first layer of the front end. If you are seeing here, uh, let me increase the size of this web page. Uh, if you see in here, here it is having some link type of things, some content with wallet color and under the line, some information is present in here. If you click on this home page, what's happening? Nothing is happening guys. Nothing is happening here. It is simply a plain text. Whenever you give the connection, whenever you are going to create a link from this web page to another web page, it will become an excellent thing. Mm. If you add some CSS to this thing, if you add some CSS to this content, what you are carrying right now, this is a piece of code. This is some content you are carrying. If you add some CSS to thing, you are going to get this type of page. You see? This is a plain text without any CSS, but this is a page which is having some CSS, some navigations, a lot of things. For this navigation, I just given one link also. This is some text information and I just given some hyperlink. Whenever I click on this thing, I am going to jump into a google.com, a particular another link which I given. So all the web pages are some documents. They are simply going to jump from one point to another point. They are simply going to get the connection guys because of having this hypertext information by using anchor tags, by using some other elements. A lot of stuff you are going to see in this series of videos. Don't worry at all. Uh, th that's it guys. This is about front end three parts and hypertext markup language. I hope you understand. Thank you. Have a great day.